Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Stop touching the microphone. Welcome back, all you cool cats and crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> crazy <know>. kid. <laughs> I, we're not talking about the Tiger King because you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but I, I think it's probably funny. I should watch it. Yeah, you should. I told you you should. Everyone who hasn't seen the Tiger King should watch it. But we're not talking about that now because it seems like there's only two things people can talk about right now. Friggin' Tiger King and the other thing that we are not going to talk about because we're tired of talking about it. Even though it's important. Coors Light? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> So we, we came out with a podcast a few days ago that was just ta- yep. us talking about you being here, kind of, um, talking about, you know, long distance conversations. Um, I guess, how has your week gone? Um, it's different and weird. Yeah. Um, I guess this is a little bit unnorm because I'm moving and there's a lot of unnorm unnormal type things going on right now in the world yeah. that i can't do everything but i mean it's been it's been good i guess a little weird because it's the first time like i would say like i've moved moved in a long time since we, i was like a kid mm-hmm. um i didn't do i wouldn't didn't say like i went to a traditional type college where like i was away right after high school so neither did i i mean that wasn't something that i did right out of high school and so now it's just been like the first move i've had and it's it's, i mean i'm at the stage where like it's not that weird but it like just the move to a different state is weird Mm -hmm. um i've always lived in south carolina since i was a kid we lived in pennsylvania yeah we were i you were eight years old when we moved seven or eight yeah i was 10 and I've lived in South Carolina since, so it's weird. Um, I would definitely say some of the things that I'm seeing is because we li- I live in Virginia now. Um, Virginia is a little bit more up north than like the south, so you don't have that southern charm <laughs> that people give you. I know the first day I went out, I'm like, hey, this dude was really rude to me. I told Joseph that. He's like, well, it's not the south. They don't have that southern <laughs> charm anymore. <laughs> So no, it's a they Virginia says they're southern, but they don't act like it. No, sir. <laughs> they definitely have that. They're a little bit more like Pennsylvania. They're yeah, a little like bit that more rough that northerners have. Yeah, they keep to themselves. They don't. They're not super bubbly people. Not really. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I've lived in Pennsylvania, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. Mm-hmm. I've lived in two different cities in South Carolina, so I've moved around a little bit more than you have. Um, what if, what would you say is something that you've learned through this process? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that there's a lot I've learned, learned, except for just moving to a different state so far, like the normal things, having to switch your driver's license, having to get new stuff because you're in a new state. Mm-hmm. Um, something weird that happened to me the other day, though, I actually told you about this, but I'm just kind of telling it everybody. <laughs> I was out just driving. I, I went out to go grab some food. And this kid came out to my car. He knocked on the window. And I was like, what the, what does this kid want? <laughs> so I rolled down the window and he's like, hey, can you uh, buy me some smokes at the smoke at the smoke store right over here? And I'm like, nah, man, is it because you're, I asked him, I was like, is it because you're not 18? And he was like, oh yeah, I'm 17. And I was like, nah, man, I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy you. I'm not going to get in trouble. Exactly. You know, <laughs> actually it's 21 now. Yeah. You can't buy tobacco but, I mean, unless he was, you're 21. He, was, he told me, he blatantly told me he was 17. He couldn't buy it. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I kind of just like, and like, was like, nah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's definitely not a safe game to play to try to like <laughs> be like, oh, I'm cool. I'm chill. I'm going to buy 
you know, someone who I think is old enough to have this. Because if you get found out, you can get so much more trouble than the um, the underage person could, you know? Yeah. It's a good thing that you had the judgment <laughs> to say no. Why would you think that I wouldn't? I don't know. I probably would say yeah and do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when I moved to this area, that was the thing I picked up the most. Uh, people are a lot different than in South Carolina. I definitely mm. got used to the Carolina vibe. Um, people say that I have an accent. Like a southern accent? Yeah. Well, I, if you have one, I probably have one because I've lived there <laughs> longer. And yeah, I people say we sound so much alike. Like everybody that I meet, they're like, you and your brother, you sound so much alike. And Well, someone, and like, our friends okay. that live here that are from California. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we have another friend who's from Ohio. They're, Ohio and Pennsylvania are neighbors. I mean, mm-hmm. they're, certain parts of Pennsylvania are very... Uh, country area forest that's kind of where we grew up at yeah and pretty much all of ohio is like that (laughs) um Mm -hmm. so we're pretty similar to ohio people and our friend from ohio is saying that i kind of sound like i have a southern accent and the people from california who don't have any accent they just mm -hmm. speak perfect english are and don't have any personality in their their talking at all (laughs) They're well, saying that I have a southern accent as well, and I don't think I do. We also have to keep it in effect, like, because we have friends that live in South Carolina with yeah. us that um, <clears throat> they're from Pennsylvania too, but yeah. both their parents are from Pennsylvania, and they, even being down here in the South, when they're, like, around their family, they're very, they have that Pennsylvania vibe or, like, northern vibe mm-hmm. that's very gruff and, like, rough, and that's <laughs> their family. Our family... We have our mom's from Pennsylvania, but our dad's from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And we have family that's from Atlanta, Georgia, that growing up, we would go down and visit them once in a while. We have so a we lot of friends from Georgia. More. Yeah. Even when we didn't mo- live here or in South Carolina, then we we had people from the South around us, especially when we were younger. So yeah. maybe we didn't have the accents as much as we maybe do now because we lived there for so long, but... I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't think I have as much of an accent as some of our friends do uh, that were, oh, yeah, that were that been raised in the Carolinas. Um, I guess there's probably one there. I don't know. Leave in the comments. Tell us if we sound like we have one. Um, but that's interesting. Do you remember much about what life was like in Pennsylvania? Because Shoot. you're pretty young. I, I, I do, I would say. And le- I would say I have like a clear memory, but... I know Rhett and Link have talked about this in the past. They talk about this a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Where when you're younger, you think you have such a clear memory of when you were younger. But because you were younger, you have like gaps of memory. Yeah. And people tell you things and you kind of just in your memory fill the gaps in of what people tell you. And you also, you change a memory every time you revisit it, Mm -hmm. you know. So memories can become slightly change it because you're telling a story to someone. So... I think I have a very clear memory of Pennsylvania and us living there and everything, but it probably has some gaps that when I actually express and talk about it, tell stories about it to people, mm-hmm. then it probably is not the way that it really happened. Yeah. Um, because I was so young. I mean, you the same way. Yeah. You were, you're just two years older than yeah. me. You're like a year and a couple months. I was so, 10. Or several months. I was so. 10 when I left Pennsylvania. I will say... Mm-hmm. I haven't revisited. I've got obviously gone to Pennsylvania since living in South Carolina a number of times. I have not. Yeah, you have. You went to Maranatha a few times. One time. Wow, you haven't been to Pennsylvania at all, man. One time. I've driven up there a number of times. And that um, was 2000, I want to say 2009 maybe. Man, gosh, you need to go. I haven't been. Um, <laughs> At least go to Pittsburgh or something. Go you know? to Pittsburgh and cool get city. into a true northern fight. <laughs> Just like aggravate someone on the street. <laughs> no, I mean... Something, I but I, I haven't been back since leaving mm-hmm. to the little town that we grew up in. Um, I'm nervous to go back there. Oh, yes. Definitely. Because my memories of it are so interesting, so grand and big. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when I get there, that probably everything's going to feel super small. And it's going to be different from what you remember. Oh, so different. Mm-hmm. Do you remember like the, the creek that was down back behind our house? Yes. I and there was that. that, there was a, we had like paths through the woods, mm-hmm. but then there was also just like a dirt trail 
that yep. went down that you could drive a car down to. Remember the metal bridge? Yep. That we would go across. I, that, I wonder if that thing's still there. Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure it was about to. It was about down by yeah. the time we left. I mean, there wasn't much there. Do you remember the little small hills that's close to the creek that we would get up on the pinnacle of those and walk down those little trails that yes. were at the top of the hills? Yes. There are so many memories like that that are just magical in my mind <laughs> that are so cool. And if I went there, I would be like, this isn't a hill. This is a freaking bump in the ground. You know what that I mean? Just, <laughs> like everything seems so much yeah, bigger when you were magical. a kid. And like magical. the bridge to Terabithia. Yeah. We had our bridge to Terabithia. But it wasn't real. the bridge there, Bithy. It was more like a, a weird forest. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, this is true. Do you remember? We actually like named some places like, mm -hmm. this is kind of embarrassing for me <laughs> to talk about, but it was like our bridge there, Bithy. We had names for different places in the woods Yeah, that like, we were like, I don't even there was remember some kind of their pit. names. I think yeah, there was like something the we pit, called the pit. Pit of that, like doom or something. Well, just I, because... We found like a, a deer carcass in it one time, <laughs> yeah. and we said like pit of doom or like pit of death or something yeah. like that because remember, this deer carcass. Do you remember that big hole that apparently I think was dug out by like a big machine on the this, this side of this hill that was down close to the creek? It was a big hole, but then it was just left there. Like they never filled it in. They yeah. never finished the job and it would snow during the winter. Mm -hmm. And so it was just this big hole. And it was pretty steep. Like the hole was just big and round and it, it had like an underside to it. And it went down just like a big gully hill. And I we would so, get up yeah. on the edge of that hill because there was snow on the ground. It would be like a big cushion because there'd be like one to two feet of snow down there. Mm. We would just jump off and land on our butts on the <laughs> snow and slide down. Do you remember that? I think I do. I mean, I remember that very clearly. It yeah, was so I interesting. I it kind of felt like a cliff, you know? Like, because we were small and the hill was not huge, but it was big enough compared to us that it felt like a cliff. And we were just jumping off and we were like, we're not even getting hurt. He was just landing <laughs> on snow. I mean, it's a perfect cushion. And it, we, yeah. we only did that during the winter because during the summer, I think we were afraid because it was just a bunch of dirt and rocks and whatnot. Yeah, I think I remembered. I know there was a lot of uh, like, um, I, I just lost what they're called, graveyards <laughs> oh, around yeah. us. Yeah, there was like three yeah no graveyards it, it wasn't it wasn't like three it was like I mean, one huge section and then there was a river running through it so there was a bridge that went across the river and okay, then there was so another was big like section one technically graveyard but there was there was a river that divided it kind of, it. Yeah. yeah yeah there was a i remember that and then the, the it seems so weird the creeks or the rivers whatever you want to call them or the creeks um in pennsylvania were so different I mean, they have big creeks in the Carolinas and in the South, but people call like a ditch a creek or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's not. It's a ditch with a little stream of water. Yeah. It, the ones we were talking about, they were like rivers, man. They were like the kind of the kind of rivers you'd get like, you know, Daniel Boone or whatever and get in like a raft. I don't know. Davy Crockett. I remember <laughs> this. I mean, when we were a little bit older in South Carolina, like being like, oh, man, that was so cool. We could have done so much, but like. We were so young, we didn't do that yeah. much there. And we were honestly, young, we couldn't really go down there. We started doing more, more fun experimental activities with nature and whatnot. Even more when we got to the south, because we had friends who were also interested in that. Yeah, um, we were interested in it, but we were young, and so we only went as far as one of us suggested something. But when you get someone else with a different <laughs> experience, or maybe a little bit more bold. And then you yeah. start getting into some real fun, you know? Definitely. I remember when we moved to the South, we found like abandoned house out in mm -hmm. the woods. Yeah. That was not on our property, but it was like way on someone else's property. And we probably shouldn't have been there. Someone owned it, definitely. <laughs> but I mean, we went in, we would hang out in this house sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm curious if it's still there because I we've been there in years. We found there was like barns. Are you talking about the ones that was in that? that cow field yeah oh with like that well mm -hmm. there was a giant well an actual old time well just a big hole in the ground that was man yeah th that place was kind of creepy we would hang out there and just we recorded like some ipad videos there <laughs> <laughs> yeah some more friends That's um cool. but yeah so i i guess just kind of talking about that because you moved to a new city new state and yeah. you haven't done this since 2005 it's yeah i mean it kind of seems weird for like 
for me being the age i am i'm 23 Mm -hmm. i think of my life as like almost like two different places i lived like my teen years and early early 20s south carolina my younger crouton years (laughs) pennsylvania so i only think of like two different times Mm -hmm. living and to me, that's not that much. Yes, it is like 20 something years, but really that's not much when it comes to like life in general. Yeah. So it just seems weird. Like, man, I've lived through so much. No, I haven't. Yes, I have, <laughs> but no, I haven't. Yeah. So I got so much more that I can do with my life and just going forward and and experiencing uh, things. What do you think about living here at the beach? That you're close to the beach, you can just, it, it's like it vacation. It hasn't set in yet. I mean, <laughs> mostly because I haven't gone there that much because mm-hmm. of everything that's going on during this time. I, I'm more quarantined right now. <laughs> but once I'm actually like able to do it whenever I want, it's going to be great. Yeah. I feel like um, we were actually talking about this the other day. I was asking you, you've been here for a year now or almost a year, mm-hmm. right? Oh, about nine or 10 months. Yeah. So I was like, we need to become like the locals and be like know the places where the locals go we need to hit the spots yeah the the hangout of the locals we need to become introduce ourselves to people yeah because i can't say i'm a local i mean i really can't because i still have a south carolina driver's (laughs) license but (laughs) it doesn't matter um we have to become locals we have to even if we don't live here for like 15 or 10 years even like we still have to make this like our place be like this is a local local joint and we hang out the hangout spot Mm -hmm. because we've never really i would say had a spot yeah south carolina we grew up and we had we had a lot of spots yeah but but not not like not regulars yeah yeah so i guess just getting established it's gonna be weird yeah Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time but I feel like good. after a couple months or so, I'll start feeling more normal. Yeah, for sure. Um, it took me for it took me a while. Partly is because it took me a while to find a job. Mm-hmm. Um, and I talk about this in a video on the channel. But it took a while to get a job that I was proud of and worked well and mm-hmm. paid enough. And so that that really keeps you unsettled. But honestly, it your process has been pretty seamless. So. It has. I mean, even with everything going on, like. I went down and I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I even went and got hired for a job basically mm-hmm. today. In the so, middle of this craziness, you're yeah. getting hired. So, I mean, I think everything's pretty smooth for me. So yeah. I just got to enjoy the time. I guess that means that I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed <laughs> to be at the beach. I'm supposed yeah. to um, be live here my doing life. this podcast. Yeah. All right. Well, any final remarks? We should finish this off. I guess we can finish this off. Um, that was kind of just uh, remembering our childhood, yeah. living in South Carolina, moving here. I guess all that stuff and yeah. living. We didn't really talk about you and living in Columbia at all. Do you want to throw anything in that while we still have time? Mm, I mean, You lived there for how many years? I lived there for four years, I think. That's a significant time. It's Columbia, South Carolina, not Columbia, Did South America. Any- Oh, yeah, just that's, that's clarify. what I mean. Just like, I mean, when I say South Carolina, like we were about two hours from mm-hmm. where you say Columbia is the yeah. capital. Yeah. Um, do you had, did you have any like local joints where you're like, feel yeah. like you're regulars at? Yeah. You were in South Carolina? Yeah. There I mean, was, in Columbia? There was one place. Um, no, there was two places. Yeah, two places. Um, there was a coffee shop in the... Um, that was pretty awesome. How long did you live in that house, the the thirty thirty, the one we started this podcast at? Yeah, uh, I lived only there for a year. So you didn't get established till the last year of you no, living there. No, we. I went to Inda before I moved there. Okay. Yeah, we were going. Me and Kenzie, we were going to Inda all the time, pretty much the whole time being there, or as long as Inda's been open. I think they actually opened a year after we were already there, um, or two years. I don't know, but we were going to Inda quite a lot. And there's a couple other places that was really chill that um, I would hang out at and everything. And people kind of knew of me anyway, or at least knew my face there. Yeah. I guess, do you, what do you, you think you're going to be more established here? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like too, just because, I mean, I'm the person who like, you, you're like, okay, yeah, we'll be regulars. But I, 
this is my first week here and i'm like where's the local joints where we, we gotta go pick up the beautiful dames we gotta go <laughs> <laughs> well you're gonna pick up some dames i'm gonna i'm gonna bring kenzie along that <laughs> i feel like that's that's us though that I, I have more of like a my personality is more of like i want to get into it yeah and do that that's experience true. just craziness well um let's wrap this up we've talked a little bit on this one so we have um appreciate you guys watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it means a lot to us we're very thankful that you've been watching we hope that you enjoy this let us know if you have any ideas or topics you want us to talk about and like this video why not give it a like um thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the very next video yep <laughs>